Is Deontay Wilder the last great, you'll pardon the expression, black hope? You a racist? No, I'm not. Involved. You think my people suffered 362 years of slavery so you can send us back to the cotton field with $500 chips? What? Because most of the great heavyweight champions of the 20th century Bro, what are you talking about, man? were black guys Bruh. who came out of the South. Oh, he needs God. some milk! Just babbling, you know, senile, insane idiot. Uh, this guy has been around for way too long. He gets on there again and just embarrasses HBO. You are correct, sir. And hope for the kindness of the officials. Bro, what are you talking about, man? St. Patrick's Day. Several bad puns later. This guy goes in there, these fighters fight, and he goes in there and just starts ripping them apart. So you're saying that even though it appeared that he what? Didn't, wasn't protecting himself and thought that that was part of the ceremony Bruh. that you were going through, of apology. I mean, every time this guy does an inter interview, if he's not babbling some incoherent babble that means nothing and had nothing to do with the fight, he's in there talking about the guys. Now, this just Floyd just got headbutted in the face. How about you go in and talk to Floyd about the headbutt? You unfairly took advantage of it. What do you say to those who say, Shut up, old man, I ain't going nowhere. You were winning the fight and in I, charge. I just want to say everybody that bought pay per view. They came out to Las Vegas. I don't know what kind of degree you got, but I got paid tonight. You know you're a promoter, but now we're talking to you as a, a prize fighter. He just starts attacking Floyd. You were in charge of the fight. You were aggressive. You know what I'm, you know I'm going to do? Because you don't ever give me a fair shake. You know that? So I'm going to let you talk to Victor Ortiz, all right? I'm through. They put somebody else up and give me an interview. You're a disgrace to this sport. Shut up, old man. You let something who I had to come from. And then he turns around and says, I wish I was 50 years younger and I'd kick your ass. Hey, Larry, if you were 70 years younger and you're not kicking Floyd's ass, okay? You babbling, uh, senile moron. HBO needs to fire you. You don't know about boxing. HBO needs to fire you. You don't know about boxing. Say nothing different than what I said before. Those motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing. You don't know shit about boxing. You ain't shit. You got shit. Those motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing. You don't know shit about boxing. But you don't go in there and just start attacking the guy. It's just, it's just ridiculous and it's unprofessional. You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Round one, fight! Bernard, aren't you embarrassed by this? A great fighter having to fight... Shut up, old man, I ain't going nowhere! A mandatory that's by the rules. I have to fight because they would do like Roy Jones didn't want him to do before he fought John O'Weesh. No, don't tell fight. me, don't tell me. Larry, stop being ignorant. If I didn't fight and defend my mandatory with the WBC, they would have stripped me. And I don't care what you say or anybody else say, this is my life, it's my prerogative. If you do your job, I do mine. You lose perfect round two fight. You think anybody wants to see this kind of fight again? Well, they, 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 it, it, don't, it don't matter if they want to see it again. It's the... It's the well, how do you get the, paid if nobody wants to see it? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm not leaving out here without a check tonight. But I can assure you it won't happen again. Well, I'll tell you what, Larry. Unless you got powers other than being a commentator, then that's a part of the business and part of the problem. You lose perfect round three fight. Is, isn't it so embarrassing for the middleweight champion of the world to be calling out junior middleweight champions? Well, Junior middleweights is only five or six pounds away from middleweights. I mean, junior middleweights always been middleweights. Come on now, Larry. Fifteen years ago, they didn't have junior weight classes in boxing. It was welterweight, middleweight. Come on All now. Right. Isn't it embarrassing when other fighters call each other out in different weight classes? So why is this so different? Because it's Bernard Hopkins? Yeah. Because it's Bernard Hopkins? Yeah. Or because it's Bernard Hopkins? Yeah. Or because it's Bernard Hopkins? Yeah. Are you, yeah. Are you, yeah. Are you, yeah. Are you, are you part of the system? <laughs> are, you, are, are you with the system? You lose. Perfect round four. Fight! Winky Wright, Winky Wright has stated he wants to call you. Do you want to fight Winky Wright? I don't fight just to be fighting. I did enough of that on Philadelphia streets in Philadelphia for free. So yes, I will fight anybody. But the fight is no problem. You got to make the fight. The dollars got to make sense. And we can move on and you can see better fights, Larry. I don't have an attitude. I just want to get paid for my labor like any other working class citizen in America. 
Well, it looks like tonight you got paid for doing not much. Well, let me tell Jim? you something, Larry. You get paid every day when the TV for not doing much. <laughs> you lose. Perfect. It's too early to give up now. Maybe you just need to take a break. That's all, folks.